given what Chris has just said about repeating 80% of the things, 90% of them being bad. So sorry to dive in this, or I mean, throw in whatever you want, but the awareness that you would need to have to even ask for it, surely that, that's difficult. Because if we're repeating the actions, that means we repeat the outcomes. So we always think it's the other person, for example. Um, so what's going to make me, what's going to make me even think about asking for you, for either of you, any of you? Mindfulness. Well, but that's a, that a go. I was going to say, because until you start to become aware, until you start to pay attention to how you're showing up in the world, how your conversations are going, the way that your thoughts are limiting your life, until you make the effort to start monitoring them, you can't possibly know what needs to be worked on because it's it, like you say, it's just you and you're doing the same thing every day. It's about making a conscious effort and a decision or a promise to yourself to be better. Then the, in, in that way, you start to become aware of how you interact with people oh hang on I'm always angry with this person why am I always angry with this person what would it be like if I wasn't always angry how would it be a different outcome and you, you can't do it all at once it's too much but if you start just by becoming aware of how different people start to make you feel hmm. then you get more practice at it the brain gets quicker at it and then you can get to the stage where you can you can start to ask how things are shaping your life all right do well, you then... think you could start Sorry, no, do you think please. you can start that process um, without being aware? No, I don't think so, because I think awareness is a key actually here. Mm. And uh, it, it's a very interesting thing about uh, what Chris mentioned. People are usually aware of other people. So next level is being aware of what is going on with, within you. Mm. That's a result of a third level, which is being aware where your awareness is and what your awareness is. So there is quite a lot of uh, possibilities to observe here, both your inner domain and outer domain. But the key is give up observing only outer domain and observe what is going on within your mind that allows you to respond, not react. Chris used a very good word earlier that you have to be able to respond, not react. Reaction is automatic. Responding demands that there is awareness between the question. Bam. So that's that's the kind of moment of pause for thought before like there's a stimulus and then there's your normal response, but then you have that little bit in between that if you use it wisely, you think, and that's where the response comes from. It's not that immediate reaction. And mm. you have to become alert to use that process. And a lot of people forget that pausing for thought. And I think that's well, the alertness and, and, and the clear memory and the way you think. I think that also affects your emotions. Mom, I'm going to give you a little piece of information into the veterans world. <clears throat> we're trained not to respond. We're, we're trained to react all, all the time, 100% of the time. Something happens, you react. You don't think about it. You train it 100 times so that you react. You react instantaneously to a situation or you die. <laughs> One of those two situations, right? So you're taught over and over to react to everything and not necessarily respond. So when I'm dealing with veterans, for instance, I have to teach them that section that isn't taught um, in our training because we're taught not necessarily to respond because that delay in thought process can be the difference between life and death. Mm -hmm. I think in situations yeah. like that, like you're saying, there's a whole a whole group of people that have been conditioned to the point where they don't they don't have the opportunity to respond. So then it has to be reflective. Then it has to be, well, look, okay, this is what happens in this situation. Let's take it apart. Let's see what went well. Let's see how you can grow and change here. Because although it's ingrained in you, anything that has been learned can be unlearned. It's just maybe you need to go around it a different way and maybe it needs to start with reflection rather than trying to take the pause, as Robert said. You know what, Chris, if only uh, you put on uh, some green makeup, you could be Yoda. 
for the, <laughs> wisdom, the wisdom you're throwing down. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice how the meditation pays off. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly, exactly. So the question I was going to ask Bob before he uh, volunteered this information on himself, the question I was going to ask Bob is, do you think you need to hit rock bottom? Because th this self-awareness that we all talk about and know of is not a...